What's up everyone, today I'm back with another brand new DIY treat video. This time it's festive for St. Patrick's Day. Let's get started, shall we? So first we're going to start by making Shamrock Punch, which is just two ingredients. We have our lime sherbet and some ginger ale. So first go ahead and in a large punch bowl add in that lime sherbet. You're going to want to use the whole carton. Calories, am I right? Now once you got all that scooped in there, go ahead and add the whole 2 liter bottle of ginger ale. Now I know a lot of people use Sprite for this recipe as well, however I wanted to cut back on a little bit of the sugar, so I went for ginger ale as an alternative. Now once you have all that ginger ale poured in, you might have some foam on the top like I did, so what I did was I just scooped that out. So now I just added the last of the ginger ale and completely optional but you can also add in some food coloring. However, if you do use the food coloring, I would suggest that you put it in with the ice cream or before you put in the ginger ale. And there it is, your Shamrock Punch is all done. Just go ahead and serve that up and you're done. It tastes very good. It tastes like lime sherbet, pretty much like a drink. It's almost like a milkshake. Easiest milkshake I've ever had. Now we're gonna get started with green beer. Now I know this is super, super simple, but a lot of people think that it's something complicated and it's really not, so here it is. You're just gonna need some beer, a light beer, of course, so that you can see the colors. Just go ahead and add that into a cup, add in your food coloring, and mix that all together. Ta-da! Now that was easy, wasn't it? It's pretty cool. It even turned the foam on top of the beer green. That's pretty much it. Next we're going to be making some Thin Mint Truffles out of the Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies. So you're just going to need some cream cheese, some green candy melt, and some Thin Mints, of course. Now, I just started by adding one package of Thin Mints into a Ziploc bag. You can also just put them into a food processor if you wanted to dirty another appliance, but you don't need to. Now, I highly suggest that you add in one more roll of the Thin Mint from the Thin Mint package because one roll was just not enough, so just do the whole box. Now, just bash that all together until there's fine crumbs. Now, add in a small, uh, I'm sorry, in a medium sized bowl, just go ahead and add in the cream cheese. And you're gonna want that at room temperature so that it's soft enough to do this. You're gonna wanna mix it around just to loosen it a little bit. Then add in the crumbs. Go ahead and mix all of that together. You can also, in this step here, you can also add in some peppermint extract if you want it to be a little bit more minty. Completely optional, but it would help. So you see here I added some more and I started mixing with a spoon, which I advise you to do because the whisk, everything got stuck in the middle of it wasn't fun. Just go ahead and roll out some of the balls from the dough onto a cookie tray with parchment paper or wax paper on it. Now this here should make about a dozen. And there you have it. 
have it. You can definitely stop here if you want to, but I chose to put it in the refrigerator for a couple of minutes and then put some candy melts on it. So with the candy melts, just go ahead and microwave that in the microwave for a minute in 15 second intervals. And then just dip the truffles in there and you're all set. Now, if you're going to want to dip the truffles into the green candy melts, then definitely make sure you put them in the refrigerator so that they can harden so it doesn't fall apart when you drop it in the, uh, the melted candy. Alrighty, that's pretty much it to serve this. I just added a couple of thin mints that I had laying around, um, put it on a dish, and wow. I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you next time.